Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Omnicron Conspiracy. And you're probably wondering, hey, why am I in the police station? That's not where I was before. And the answer is, I'm going to show you, actually, instead of loading from my previous save. If you go in here now and speak to the chief... Good work destroying the drugs factory, but you still must determine who the head of the drug ring is and deal with them. Report back when it is done. Captain... Can do, Chief. So it's like a little reminder. If you think, oh, I destroyed the Mentant base, that's it, game over. It's not. You still have some stuff to do and the Chief will tell you that. So uh, let's have a look at the rest of the police place. Because uh, we hadn't really explored the other levels. Let's go to the archives. Alrighty. Archive time. Welcome to the archives office. Captain, you are authorized to use the archive computer, and I'm here if you need help. That's nice that you're here to help me. Oh, and the police museum can be accessed through that blue door over there if you're interested. A police museum? Well, as a space cop, it is my duty to be informed by history. Let's have a look. Ah, computer. Criminal records. Insert list of criminal records of Kron citizens here. Oh, you discover frog cells, explosive... Well, we knew that. Unsolved cases. Insert list of unsolved cases. Okay. Oh, look, there's a guard here admiring things. Mayor Wibba. This is a photograph of the first elected mayor of Suda City. And you're... You're in the way. I need to... Thank you. This is a portrait of a Star Police Captain Grant Everest, who took down the Vogel Crime Syndicate. This is a printing of a first android police officer on Kron. Autocop 001. Picture of Varga Zahn. This is a photograph of a federal officer who went on to found the Star Police. But of course we knew that already. Look at this madman. Hans Schruber. This is a photograph of a terrorist leader taken before he fell from the Necatronic Tower. Haha. <laughs> and landed in the Necatronic Plaza, huh? Picture of Scottru Lundgrof. This is a photograph of the experimental cybernetic solider, whoops, soldier, that went on a killing spree. Hmm. Picture of Snyman Philox. This is a photograph of a criminal that ran amok and was stopped by ex-cop Spartan Ramblone and his partner Hux Bluck. <laughs> uh, good movie. Picture of Noxin Drakir. This is a painting of the first intergalactic crime boss arrested by the Kron Planetary Police. What is that uh, Jack Nicholson or something? You, you're going to have to let me in on that one. It's a model of Kron, fourth planet of the Omnicron solar system. Kron is an independent planet state that includes 14 moon worlds and is a member of the Federal Council. Well, that's all fascinating. But uh, our energy is very low. So we'll exit this police museum, check out the other levels, and then go for a well-earned nap. Comm center. All right. Let's have a look at the comms. It's broken and can only receive certain types of messages. That explains why you had to see the chief in person. Ha <laughs> ha! So Streaks has provided an in-universe explanation as to why you have to report back to the Chief each time instead of just contacting him. Let's get some money from payroll. There's no time for sitting down. We've got money to get. Give me money! I think you're off on the wrong floor, pal. This is Cron Police Payroll, your star police. Foiled once again. And I can't even go through that door as it's CPP only. Well, we'll just have to do with our current stipend. Let's go back down to the lobby, and let's just uh, fast forward through this next bit, because nobody needs to see it. And a seamless transition that finds us back at the Delphi Science Complex. So we can head up the lift now and uh, investigate what we missed out on. I think Streak said something about, you know, important computer terminals or something, but we don't have time for that nerd nonsense. So, 
if you want to find out about that, you know, you can find out yourself, because I don't see any sort of computer stuff in Galloway's quarters. It's mostly just luxuriating uh, things like sofas and the like. I probably missed something important, but oh well. Let's see, what else can we discover in this glorious area? Oh yeah, Quattro's quarters. We had this door. The wardrobe is completely empty. Weird. Oh, so it wasn't a door after all. It didn't lead to a secret lab or anything like that. It was just a wardrobe. Well, that's a bit uh, underwhelming, I guess. Not much else here. Let's follow this little fella. Let's have a look at Zot Boars. He's got an Omnimon. Hey, there's something on there. In the shelf. Ooh, another letter. To Zot Boar. Well, we'll have to read that. Let's see now. Read. Two Delphi scientists from Dr. Lamar Quattro. I have devised a device that will... Wow. Neutralize the force that holds the atomic nuclei together. Such a device could be used to destroy an entire planet in a single shot. I hope you'll support me in my endeavours to secure research funds. Yes, I'm making a planet killer. Please, please support me. Uh, I, I can see why Zotbor turned down Lamar Quadro at this point. And this wardrobe only contains a couple of suits. So we'll move on. Again, I'm probably missing something really important, but hey! And finally, let's pick up our gun from the table, our Soricelli, because we're gonna need it. You see, we're gonna head to level four. And level four, we're gonna see some action. Okay, level four. I'm not sure if we're even authorized to be here. I think Rand said, hey, you can go anywhere. So let's have a look at Moltronic Sentience. Hello. Anybody here? Nothing there. Oh, it's Dr. Santos's lab. All right, let's just wander around and... I'm sorry, sir, but this is a sterile environment. You'll have to leave. Dr. Santos is on vacation. I thought I could go anywhere I wanted, but apparently not. Okay, what's next? Robotic engineering. Hmm. These all appear to be... This is a storage cabinet. Unfortunately, it's locked up tight as a drum. Ow. Oh, can't get in there. Ooh, computer. View memos. Overdue visit to asteroid base D892. Must check on Quattro's progress. Oh. So Quattro had an asteroid that he was doing his research on. Must remember to stop leaving the cargo transporter paired to the secret droid factory on Kron. Okay, those are two very good memos. Port Ungar Jr. Rand, when you're finished using the cargo transporter for your private business, please stop leaving it paired. Right, okay. SA Droid Code is ahead of schedule. Good work from withheld. Your service to the Sarbai has been invaluable. You will be a Sarbai elder in no time. Well, we'll have to consult our notes here because I think we know what's happened. Quattro, uh, Randangar has been supporting Dr. Quattro's project on an asteroid base. Randangar uses a Delphi cargo transporter to visit a secret factory and Randangar is a member of a criminal gang, the Sarbai. Ugh, that is a lot of exposition. It's just a bunch of boring old scientific junk. Okay. There are quantum computers for controlling droids. It's a storage cabinet, also locked up tight as a drum. Okay. So, I'm almost tempted to, you know, confront Rand about this information, but I'm not sure that would do anything. We could go into that supply cabinet, but let's, uh, let's investigate the other side. Particle Dynamics. Hello, I'm here to help. Our storage cabinet. This stuff sure looks advanced. Who are you? One of Rand's personal bodyguards. I'm sorry. You must be the star police officer investigating Dr. Quattro's death. 
We were told to expect a visit from you. We've been ordered to continue Dr. Quattro's experiments as best we can. Now, if you'll excuse us, sir, we are in the middle of an inventory of the lab equipment. It's funny, but almost half the equipment is missing. You think someone was building their own lab somewhere else? Building their own lab, you say? Secret asteroid, you say? Cargo transporter, you say? Yes, this is all coming together. Ooh, Dr. Quattro's computer. Those fools, they drove me to this. Okay. Uh, Suda City Realty, congratulations on the purchase of Asteroid X314. So, there's the coordinates again. So, Quattro had an asteroid, and he was doing experiments on it, and Rand had secretly sort of approved this. We have transferred your private lab to our base, as discussed. Everything is set. Make sure you're on board the BS. That's Black Star tomorrow. There'll be no going back after this. So, you will soon have everything you need to finish the device. So Rand has been funding Quattro's research, giving him an asteroid, and the Sarbai are behind Rand's actions because Rand is a member of the Sarbai with designs on, you know, becoming an elder. This plot is extremely involved for 1989. I am very impressed. So, what's our next move, I guess? Uh, we can go take a look at the asteroid, or maybe we should check the rest of the lab first. Psionics. Why not? Hello, I'm here to help with psionics. You're not sure if it's decorative or scientific. So this is Dr. Galloway's lab. Another storage container. Ha, who knows? <laughs> yep, don't have a clue. Yep, is that... I am Dr. Lester Galloway. I'm sorry, but only authorized personnel are allowed in here. If you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy man. Well, Dr. Galloway, I'm allowed to go wherever I please. Rand Ungar was very transparent about that. So, there's a... And, oh, right, this is this is the cargo transporter. So we could go down to the secret droid lab again on Kron. Oh, the, the CPP people, the Kron Planetary Police, really are not good at their job. I mean, between the drugged up lunatic mentants and the secret droid lab, they're really not doing well at keeping the peace. Let's see what's on that storage lab first, though. What is that? Well, it's not attacking me. That's a good sign. Uh, don't mind me. There's nothing of use for you in here. Okay. That's bizarre. Is that one of the, like, droids they're working on? I mean, it seems friendly enough. It's just floating around minding its own business. Okay, okay. Let's check out that asteroid first, before the secret droid lab. Hey, this asteroid is tiny. I found one small building. Luckily, it has a transporter grid. Well, that's just awfully convenient, pal, isn't it? That we happen to stumble across a place with a working transporter grid. Let's beam down. Wow, this place is a mess. A par ratchet. Uh, I don't think we'll need that yet. Abandoned lab, spelt incorrectly. The place has been ransacked. Much of her remaining equipment is marked... Property of the Delphi Science Complex. Something huge was bolted to the ground here. So this was Lamar Quattro's weapon. Uh, Dr. Quattro's asteroid base contains something big that has been taken. Yes, we know that. But that's interesting. So he had a lab. 
and then he oh oh no 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 okay that that was space look at my health now <laughs> okay I'll, I'll get healed up then i'll go and investigate this droid place Okay, here we go, to Kron Base. Who knows what will greet us? Alright, transporter room, nothing over there. Okay, let's do it. Ah, it's like that other droid factory we were at. But this one is secret. Let's proceed. Hmm, nothing much this way. It's the factory line. Let's head the other direction. The robot arms are assembling components. Yes, just like the other factory. Nothing too sinister so far. Ah! Well, I guess they don't want me to be here. A desk. It's strewn with quota forms and part acquisition logs. And we've got a copier. It's an old document copier. Okay. Nothing too exciting there. So what's going to be through this door? More bad guys? Ah! Oh. I have a bad feeling that that was just a cat. Ah! Well, that definitely wasn't a cat. Ooh, droid control. Ah! Why do I keep letting them shoot me first? Stupid insect thing. Sarbai Master Computer? Ooh, assignment log. Assignment. Kill SP Agent 786. Yes, they did that. For the Mentats. Escort Dr. Quattro to Sarbai Base for Rand. Okay. It's all coming together. Kill Governor of Rigel for Governor's Wife. Well, that is a plot. There's nothing to do with what? us. Kill SP agent Ace Pars for Mentants. So those Mentants wanted me dead. Current droid directive. Terminate enemies with extreme prejudice. Can we program them? No holodisc found. Please insert a holodisc. We, we have a holodisc. Will they like Manny Borello? The Manny Borello holodisc has been inserted. Okay. Did that do anything? Ah, right. I think we have to program them again. New directive accepted. Dance, sing, exude love. <laughs> I guess that means that they won't be shooting us, right? I can't imagine what they'd be like if we'd given them the metal music one. Note added. Friendly assassin droids. I reprogrammed the sound by assassin droids to be friendly. Okay, so we don't have to shoot them anymore. That's reassuring. We might actually make it further into this place. Ooh, look at those tentacles and big eyes. There's some sort of teal at the end of the screen there. Okay. Sleeping quarters. Not for long. Ah, you see, there's the assassin droid. And it's not attacking me. But the people in the sleeping quarters will. Hey there. Oh, he actually missed. Nothing in the lockers. And the bed is so comfortable that you fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. Because sleeping in your enemy's bunks is a par move. And I am Ears Spars, man of very little health. I was hoping the health would regenerate with the bed, but apparently not. Locked door. Will the access card do anything there? Apparently not. Well, we've got a mystery on our hands. I guess we can go the other way now. Oh, it wasn't a cat. It was just a rat. Oh, I feel much better now. Well, I guess that's it. That's the extent of the secret base. We just had to program the droids to be friendly. Now every droid that they 
manage to create will be friendly. Though I guess we've disrupted their creative process by killing everybody. So that's pretty much set us up for the dramatic conclusion to this Let's Play series. Will Eospar's return to Kron and help save his good friend Bellows? Or will he just ignore that and go to the Sarbai base? Find out next time. Captain Powers, I am Lieutenant Blazlock Drag. My friends call me Laz. But you can call me Lieutenant. But you can call me Lieutenant. Lieutenant Dread. Lee Boy. Lieutenant Dread. So no. Or was it Lieutenant Dread? Dino into the top. Lieutenant Dread. Now, if you will excuse me.